welcome to Rainbow Network Media. Please kindly subscribe to this channel for interesting news. Thank you all for listening. A large number of Boko Haram terrorists have moved out of their base in the northeast to join forces with criminal gangs in the northwest where they are engaged in weapons training and kidnapping. A report by the AFP quoted military source as having confirmed this. Following the death of Abu Bakr Shiko, Boko Haram leader, the group and the Islamic State allied rival has been consolidated, consolidating their griefs on the northeast. Islamic State West African province, Iswa, has been moving into Boko Haram terrorist territory, fighting Shekel loyalists, assimilating some or forcing others to surrender to the armed force security source said. Details of the movement of Boko Haram fighters could be the latest signs of cooperation between jihadists and criminal armed groups in the northwest who raid and loot villages and conduct mass adoptions for ransoms. Two military sources said a faction loyal to Shekau based in Borno State has di dispatched two commandants and 250 fighters to the Rijana Forest in Northwest Kaduna State. Both commanders are allied with Bakora Buduma, a Boko Haram chief who remains loyal to Shekel and whose fighters are resisting. Iswa consolidation, according to security source. They are the mastermind behind some of the adoption in the Northwest, one of the military source said. Both sources said Boko Haram militants were also training the gangs known locally as bandits in the use of anti-aircraft guns and explosives and other weapons. The military spokesperson could not immediately be reached for comment. Kaduna state officials also did not immediately reply to the request for confirmation. Analysts said there have been growing signs that jihadists and bandits gangs were developing deeper ties where both stood to gain jihadist supply arms while profiting from criminal activity. Northwest Nigeria has long been plagued by bandit groups, but this year attack and kidnapping have surged. The revelation comes two weeks after the State Security Service, SSS, also called the Department of State Service, asked security agencies in Kaduna to brace themselves for likely attack. It noted that leaders and foot soldiers of the Boko Haram terrorist sect have relocated to a forest in northern Kaduna from Sambisa Forest. In a memo seen uh, by the reporters, the terrorists are said to have relocated from Sambisa Forest in Bono State to Rijana Forest in the Chukum local government area of Kaduna. The newspaper quoted part of the memo as saying a senior Boko Haram fighter, Ibrahim uh, Fon, alongside his foot soldiers, were relocating to join their counterparts under the leadership of Wong Adamu Yunusa. The DSS therefore ordered the officials, officers of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps to tighten security in the aforementioned areas and environment, adding that its operatives should be placed on alert and report accordingly. According to the memo, the NLCDC 
was also directed to step up surveillance and intelligence gathering on the affirmation areas and environment. Recently, the Armed Public Relations Director, Brigadier General Oyeama Nwachiku, said Iswa terrorist group has commenced a massive recruitment drive after thousands of Boko Haram insurgents repented and surrendered to the military. The director noted that the military will not relent in its fight against terrorism. He, however, urged members of the public to be observant in their communities. So, guys, uh, concerning the security situation of uh, Nigeria, reports had it that Boko Haram fighters are now training bandits in northern Nigeria on how to use sophisticated weapons, anti-craft guns, uh, explosives, and uh, so on. Uh, this came up for, uh, uh, after the death of Abubakar Shekel, that is the Boko Haram leader uh, that died of recent. The group and the Islamic State uh, are rivals. They've been consolidating their grip on the northeast. And also, uh, Boko Harams are trying to recruit as many of uh, as many people in uh, after some of their members have surrendered to the troop. So, guys, whatever you feel concerning how the security of Nigeria uh, can be tightened up, please drop your own suggestion. Let's know your your thoughts your views and advice concerning uh, the security of Nigeria. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more updates. Thank you all for listening.